law in a constitutional amendment motion tabled by Matsungulu, Member Parliament, Stephen Mule. The law makers are seeking to rescue the impugned National Government Constituency Fund that was declared unconstitutional by the High Court. Shadrach Kareria reports. Matter. The touches on this house that is for the first time the debate on the amending in the constitution was tabled before the chambers of the National Assembly. Some other things, stimulus, and then you have talked about giving a chance for the members of parliament to give their comments about the bill that is aimed at legalizing the constituency development fund, the national government affirmative fund, and the oversight fund for the Senate. While defending the CDF that was termed illegal by the court. The outspoken MPs overwhelmingly vote to support the move, arguing that it's almost impossible for them to deliver their mandate at the constituency level. But Mr. Speaker, as we speak today, every day, and I'm sure I speak for all the members here, we get no less than 100 phone calls of children who are at home because they cannot get bursaries. So it is not the members who are suffering, it is the people. I want members, as we debate on this motion, as we look at how we can actually entrain this into constitution, for us to look at how CDF can be able to handle the issues of water. In any case, 80% of Kenya, 85% is arid and semi-arid, and the issue of water is key. As we look at education and everything else, members, let us consider including this prohibition of water in CD, this CDF, and this is our fund, and this is the fund that can make an impact. Let us support this because we are the people representing the electorate. We are the ones who know where it bites. In a bid of ensuring that the bill sails, the parliament has chosen to involve articles 255, 256 and 257 of the constitution, which allows the parliament through parliamentary initiative to amend the constitution without going through a referendum. They will have an opportunity at the next level to give their views and any other person interested the whole country will also have an opportunity because we'll have a whole three months after the first reading for us to be able to reach out to every other part of this country being a constitutional amendment. In that case, the Speaker of the National Assembly will read the bill for the first time in the House, after which the Parliament will take up to 90 days, where they will travel to all parts of the country, conducting public participation. Marginalization would go to the... After the report is presented, the speaker will read the bill for the second and third time. Legally, the bill will pass if three quarters of both houses, the Senate and the National Assembly, votes in favor of the bill. The two speakers of the House will then submit the proposal to the President William Ruto for signing. Both houses of Parliament, then both speakers of Parliament, should we reach the requisite two-thirds majority, will present the, 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 the bill to the president for accent. Shadra Kareria, Look Up TV. And efforts to enhance literacy.